So we presented uh, three clinical trials in progress at ASCO-GU. Uh, these were upfront PSMA, uh, lutectomy, and uh, NZP. Uh, they're all studies using lutetium-177, uh, PSMA-617, in a slightly uh, earlier uh, phase of disease compared to perhaps the therapy study that we presented the results of or the vision trial that we are awaiting the results of. Uh, these trials are funded by a Movember Prostate Cancer Research Alliance, uh, also with support from the Australian government. So they're all investigator-initiated studies. Uh, the ANZUP Cancer Trials Group is involved in two of these trials, the Upfront PSMA and the ENZAP trial. And uh, I'll run through all these trials uh, briefly. So I might start with the upfront PSMA trial. This is a phase two randomized trial where we're using lutetium PSMA as an upfront treatment in men with newly diagnosed metastatic prostate cancer uh, with high volume disease. So these are men that present with de novo metastatic disease. Uh, they must have metastases evident on CT bone scan and a high volume of disease defined on a, a PSMA PET CT. And they are randomized to two cycles of lutetium PSMA 617 followed by docetaxel chemotherapy. That's the experimental arm compared to uh, docetaxel uh, alone. And the primary endpoint of this study is a uh, undetectable PSA at uh, 12 months. Uh, this is recruiting at 11 or 12 sites around Australia, a similar network to the therapy study. And this trial is uh, underway and actively recruiting. Uh, another one of the R uh, trials is the uh, lutectomy study. This is a much smaller, perhaps you'd call it a phase one or two trial, a single center study being conducted at the Peter McCallum Cancer Center where I work. And this is a trial led by uh, Professor uh, Declan Murphy, uh, who's a uh, urologic surgeon. And in this study, we are assessing the utility of one or two cycles of uh, lutetium PSMA 617 uh, prior to prostatectomy in men with high risk uh, localized disease. Uh, so these are men with uh, Gleason grade group three, four or five disease uh, with or without pelvic nodal disease. Uh, they must have high PSMA expression uh, defined by an SUV max over 20 uh, in the prostate primary. And then they have one or two cycles of uh, lutetium therapy and six weeks later have a prostatectomy. And the primary endpoint of this study is a dosimetry endpoint. Uh, so men are undergoing SPECT CT scans at uh, three time points and using a uh, voxel-based uh, method, we are calculating the dose in grey uh, delivered to tumour. And uh, our hope is that we'll be able to get uh, meaningful uh, tumour killing doses of uh, radiation with uh, lutetium PSMA 617. And this trial is also well underway, uh, actively uh, recruiting. And the third trial we had a pleasure to present at ASCO-GU this year was the ENZA-P trial. Uh, this is a study run by my colleague, Professor Louise Emmett uh, in Sydney. It's another trial uh, designed and conducted by the ANZUP uh, Cancer Trials Group running at our, our therapy network of uh, 11 plus sites around Australia. Uh, and this trial is a little bit earlier population than the therapy study. This trial takes men with uh, metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer. Uh, they have to have high risk features for early failure with enzalutamide. And they are then randomized uh, one to one to either enzalutamide in combination with lutetium PSMA or enzalutamide uh, alone. There is a lot of embedded PSMA and FDG uh, scans in this study. Uh, so after two cycles of treatment, a repeat PSMA PET scan is done, and that determines whether patients randomized to the lutetium arm uh, continue to have a further two cycles of uh, lutetium PSMA 617, uh, or if there is a you know, rapid complete resolution of PSMA uptake, uh, then that is not given. And the primary endpoint of this uh, study is uh, progression-free uh, survival. So a really interesting study. It's the first study combining uh, both enzalutamide and lutetium PSMA. The hope here is that this will be a synergistic combination. Uh, Professor Emmett has previously shown that enzalutamide uh, results in upregulation of PSMA cell surface expression. Uh, 
So that may enable uh, subsequent cycles of lutetium to even be uh, more effective. Uh, so a really interesting uh, trial. Uh, this trial also funded by uh, Movember and the Australian government. Uh, so, you know, those three together are at three different stages, really from the earliest point in men with newly diagnosed prostate cancer uh, due to have a prostatectomy uh, through to men with newly diagnosed prostate cancer in the upfront PSMA trial. Uh, that's a trial run by Professor Arun Azad uh, at Peter Mac and lastly, the uh, ENSA P trial. Uh, so we'll have some hopefully great data to present at upcoming ASCO GU meetings in the years to come.